For this exercise, we will draw a gable roof that has three dormers in the front and an extension off the back. The dormers are set at 8 feet down from the ridge and the back extension is set at 14 feet down from the ridge. The main roof overhang is 12 inches and the dormer overhang is 6 inches. The main roof pitch is 8 and 12 and the back extension roof pitch is 3 and 12. So let's grab a gable roof, click to place it, click the properties icon, change your pitch first. The pitch is 8 and 12, so type 8 and hit tab. Lock all pitch measurements. Click on rafter A. The rafter length is 18 feet, so type 18 and hit tab. Lock rafter B. Click on the eave overhang and change that number to 12 inches and hit tab. Now click on the right handle. Click on this back number. Type 50 and hit enter. Now that's our main roof. Next we'll draw the dormers in the front. One thing to note is the dormers start 8 feet down from the main ridge. So to make it easier, I'm going to click on this number 18 and I'm going to change it to 8 feet temporarily. So I'm going to type 8 and hit enter. Now I'm going to click the square break tool, hover over this front eave, click and hold, then drag to the right, then release. It gives me three handles. Hold the control key down. Click and hold the middle handle and pull it down. Now it's the start of our first dormer. So I'm going to click on the dormer. Click the properties icon. Lock the pitch. Click on rafter A. The rafter length is six feet, so I'm going to type six and hit tab. Lock rafter B. Then I'm going to click on the eave overhang and change that number to 6 inches and hit tab. Now the rake shows multiple. To get rid of that, you can hit delete on your keyboard twice. So I can hit it once and then one more time. And then I'll hit the number 6 and hit tab. Now I'm going to click the front handle. Click on the eave length type 4 and hit enter. Okay, that's our first dormer. Now I'm going to duplicate that dormer two more times. To make it easier to line things up, I'm going to use my snap line. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to click on the snap line, I'm going to bring it down here and put it about right there and I'm going to click to place it. I'm going to click on Roof 2. I'm going to click on this upper handle and I'm going to pull it down and just pull it right back up and make sure it snaps to that snap line. Then I'm going to right click on Roof 2. Choose Copy. Then I'm going to right click and then choose Paste. That will load it to my cursor. I'm going to hold the Control key down because that acts like a sticky key. And I'm going to bring the roof up and I'm going to touch it to that line somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to click once. Then I'm going to release my control key. And I'm going to bring this roof up and touch the line. And I'm going to click again. Now that's our three dormers. Now I'm going to click this number 8 and I'm going to change it back to 18 feet and hit enter. To get rid of this snap line, you can actually just click on it and then click delete. Now we need to draw the back extension. We can do the same thing as we did with the dormers. We know that the extension starts 14 feet down from the main ridge. So I can click on this number back here, type 14 and hit enter. Now I'm going to click the square break tool hover over the back eave. I'm going to click once. It gives me two handles. 
hold the control key down, click and hold the left handle and pull it up, click on the roof, click on the properties icon, the pitch is 3 and 12 so we'll click on that pitch, type 3 and hit tab, lock all pitch measurements, click on rafter A, the rafter length on this roof is 14 feet, so I'm going to type 14 and hit tab. Lock rafter B. And now I'm going to click and hold this middle handle. And I'm going to pull the roof over and line it up on the left side. And then release. Then I'm going to click on this upper handle. Click on this eave length. Type 8 and hit enter. Now I'm going to click on this number 14 and change it back to 18 and then hit enter. We're just about done except there's a little piece of a roof over on the left side that needs to be removed. And to show you better I'll just put it in 3D mode. So if I hit the number 3 on my keyboard which is a shortcut it'll bring the roof up into 3D view. Just so I can show you I'll spin it around. There's a little piece of a roof right here that needs to be removed. So we'll go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to hit the number 1 on my keyboard and that will bring us back to the main view. Now I'm going to click the square break tool. I'm going to hover over here on the left side. And then I'm going to click once. I'm going to click and hold this upper handle and just pull it into the roof. Now if you notice, there's a little bit of an overhang here now. This little dotted line right here, we can click on that line, click and hold that handle, there's a handle right here, and I can pull it up and get rid of it. And that should be the roof. I'll click my zoom tool, and zoom back out, so you can see.